Hello friends! Today I am going to give my thoughts on the ColourPop X Sailor Moon palette. I'm actually going to be going in and doing a look on my eyes and kind of going over my thoughts as I do my eyes. Does that make sense? I don't know. Uh, I'll figure it out in post. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yes. So this is about my fourth time using this palette and I have gathered up some thoughts. I actually have to shower right now and so I thought what a perfect time to do an eye look because I'm gonna shower right now. And so yeah, anyways, <laughs> take it away voice over me. I just want to let you guys know that it took me literally two hours to figure out what was wrong with my voiceover because it wouldn't record. Granted, an hour of the two was spent, you know, updating my computer because I thought that maybe that was it, but here I am two hours later <laughs> on finally being able to record. Anyways, okay, so... I do spend the rest of this video, not gonna lie, uh, kind of giving some harsh criticisms to this palette and collection, so what I thought that I would do now is kind of talk a little bit about some of my favorite things about this palette and collection, one of them being the front cover. I do like that they went for this weird texture that gives the palette some movement with Usagi's mouth going, you know, like, I don't know, like she's opening and closing it. And it kind of gives an animation feel to the palette, which I think is really cool. Um, you know, that's some creative packaging there. I will say there is this color called Mare Seren Seren Serenitis. I'm butchering it, but it is the shadow between Silver Millennium and Luna, and it is a hybrid of this putty texture eyeshadow with bits of glitter in it. I really like that shade. I really like that formula. formula. I think that it's so nifty, and I will also say the bottom row of this palette which is Justice, Tuxedo Rose, Love, and a Miracle Romance, are very spring, I want to say almost Easterish type shadows as well, that I think really give a really cool feel to this palette in which it gives, you know, a little bit of color, a little bit of pops of color in this palette. I will also say that I do think that ColourPop did a cool thing by trying to incorporate something like the lip blot type of product in this collection that also simulates kind of what is popular in Asian cultures with the lip tint. I will speak furthermore on the formulation later on, but I will say that it was a nice attempt at creating a product like that which I think is also cool for the context of this. I do think that it is also really, really amazing that ColourPop was able to collaborate with such a big household name like Sailor Moon because that means that people all over are able to get their hands on an item that is affordable and about something that they really love, which is the Sailor Moon fandom. So with all that being said, I'm going to move into some feedback for ColourPop. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm sorry, I hate me. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom in and I will dial down the light, shall we? And this is what I came up with. Oh, okay. Well, I can see the colors a little better. Here I used one, two, three, four, five. I put a little bit of the putty type shadow in the middle here. 
And over here, I used one, two, three colors. I think this is more of a neutral look. You know, you could wear it. Well, maybe you'd have to exchange the yellow, but you could wear it almost daily, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so my final thoughts on this palette is that it's okay. I feel like during my voiceover, I might have explained some grievances that I have with this palette, and as I was using it yet again, I did remember some things, and I might have already mentioned it. The fallout on this palette is insane. Now, I know that it looks a little, like I'm very aggressive with my palettes, going in and like dipping, but the amount of fallout that I have experienced with the ColourPop palettes has been insane. It is like not okay the amount of product that is kicked back out of this palette. I do also want to say that in this row, specifically Justice, Tuxedo Rose, and Love, there's sparkle within the eyeshadow here, but once you put it on the eye, the sparkle just kind of fizzles. I don't know where it goes, but it leaves. I will also say that this putty shadow right here that is Silver Millennium is just a hot mess. One, it is very, very squishy. Two, when there is kickback by the surrounding shadows, it lands on this very puttied, textured shadow. And at this point, I don't know what the original color of this because there's just so much fallout within it of me just having to blow away from other surrounding shadows. What I will say, however, is that it is a nice topper. It's kind of like a transformative shade. I put it on top of the pink in this eye and it just adds a nice little glimmer to things. But yet again, it's just a lot. You know, it's just a lot, the amount of fallout that this palette has. I, I'm sure had also mentioned the fact that this is just catered specifically, I think, to white people. The color story of this is not POC friendly, and although some of these shadows are really, really nice and vibrant on pan, it does take a lot of build up to build on the eyes. This is, I will say, a very whimsical, I think, summer palette. It is very nice. If you were to take this on vacation, you could definitely get a neutral look and, you know, <laughs> with this row, if it's fitting, then it's fitting. And, you know, there's this very nostalgic, cool feel. I know a lot of people had thoughts on the packaging as far as making it that and very, like, just kind of... I wouldn't even say that this is basic, but I know that people had their grievances with this type of packaging. Um, personally, I enjoy it, and I think that when I am done with the palette, it would be a really cool display piece to have. Um, but, I mean, I also think that the inside was just kind of a little lazily. Like, something could have been done here that could have been cooler than that. I will say the holographicness of it all is really cool. The actual outer carton, I think, is pretty cool i think there's just a lot of like open space the background is a little plain but honestly i feel like all of this is pretty cohesive with what you would expect ColourPop to put out in collaboration with someone i think that this was pretty cool to have in a collection like this i will say i do wish that there would have been another picture and not this specific picture of usagi in the front of this what could have been cool i think what was a missed opportunity is to have her transforming in the front and having that be a theme for this whole collection is the power of not only transformation from a regular person to a sailor scout but also the transformation of makeup i think that that was such a huge marketing miss for ColourPop. ColourPop, hire me please hello i'm here hire me 
and the other biggest thing was the lip product now I've tested this once before and I've got to be honest I wanted to get literally everything in this collection and I'm so glad I didn't because the blushes that I saw from this collection I don't think would have gone very complimentary with my skin tone and I got this color which I was a little scared of because it is just so bright but one I discovered that it is not meant to be as a liquid lip it's meant to be one of those blotting pouty um, Asian product I think that they still need to work on this type of formula. It feels very silicone-y when you first apply it, and as it dries down, it just doesn't feel that great, in my humble opinion. So I think that this formula still needed some work done, and it also just looks like, it looks like you had some product on your lip, and then you ate lunch, and now this is what you have for the rest of the day, because you forgot your lip product at home and that's not a cute look to have on now there were glosses that accompanied this and I saw the glosses and I honestly feel like I already had them in my collection via the wet n wild zodiac glosses that I have so I didn't feel the need to buy them but this ain't it the formula just ain't it it settles on your fine lines it's creamy when it goes on, and I want to say that they were trying to go to a cream to powdery type finish. I mean, it's comfortable, you know, now, but it just, it looks horrendous. It just does not look great. It settles in your lines, and have I been biting my lips all day? Yes, but I have worn this on other occasions, and it just, I just do not like what it does to my lips. It's not it. And I think that that's maybe where the gloss comes in. Like maybe putting a gloss over this helps the situation. But I also don't like the fact that I have to like have a gloss to help this other product out. I experienced this last time also. When you put the gloss on top, this then starts to move around your lips. And so it just becomes like a game of like, are you worth it? Let me try to work it. You know, I put my money down, flip it, and the lip product is just a flop for me. Just a nope. And so, yeah, I don't know. I think that there was just so much cool opportunity here, and it was all missed. Well, maybe not all of it. I did enjoy as I got to try out the glitter pots that they have god I just I really do not like the lip product and I just you know I just I was disappointed I'm gonna say it I was disappointed by the eyeshadow palette I was disappointed by the lip product I cannot speak to the cheek products because I did not buy them and I think that that was a win for me I also did not get to get one of the glitter pots although if they are any indication of what the formula is like for some of these glitter shadows within the palettes that they have I gotta say I do like that they have made glitter a little bit more uh uh, user friendly within their palettes. I think that it can be very intimidating to get lash, no not lash glue, do not put lash glue on your eye. I think it's a little intimidating to put glitter glue on your eye and then get another brush and then try to place the glitter. It's a little tedious, it's a little, you know, I get it. To be able to have something in a palette where you can just, that was really loud, I'm sorry is really cool and I personally have enjoyed the glitter shadows that are in some of the monochromatic palettes in particular baby got peach the glitter in there 
love it so cute I will say that the chunks of glitter however are a little big and that is alarming and if you're going to advertise promote slash say that most of those are supposed to go on your face and not your eyes or your body then that should go in a separate maybe that should be a single shadow maybe something you add on to the palette but do not give it to the customer and say it is you know, intended for elsewhere when you're getting a palette specifically for your eyes. Now that was kind of a rant. I will say, I mean, I overall I enjoy that ColourPop does have the glitter in some of their palettes, but however, the glitter chunks are, I think are a little too big. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But overall, I just, the fallout, ridiculous. The color story, plain and basic. The packaging could have been better. So yeah. overall, I'm glad that I just stuck with buying a couple of items from this collection. I'm still happy to have this eyeshadow palette. Like I said, once I am finished, I will keep this as a little like memento, a little, little thing to put. I don't know what that was, but moving on. So, you know, that's cool for the sense of that. And you know, the, the color story here is just, I think, again, a little into the whole thing of just like not being POC friendly, which anime does have a bad reputation of that. They just have caricatures of other ethnicities and often people of color within anime are often ridiculed. And it's just, you know, this is just the social justice warrior in me of just like not being inclusive. And, or, you know, if you were going to have this palette be this palette, fine. But then you have all of the other Sailor Scouts. I think that a cool thing that you could have done, oh, hint, hint, is made other neutral palettes or colored theme palettes or whatever have you type palettes within the other Sailor Scouts and maybe have added a more better people of color friendly color story within them you know kind of how like the Huda Beauty had the neutral eyeshadows but for three different skin tones you could have done something like that I think for something like this but I mean I get it I get the basic colors in here they are very whimsical they are very light they are very, you know, transformation, putting on my Sailor Scout, you know? Um, which again, I think should have been the cover for this. The color story would have made a lot more sense for that. And you know, it's just, you know, it's just, you know, expectations versus realities. On the eye, it's nice. I actually have an oily lid and so within the five hour mark I do start to see creasing this is pretty normal and average for me however I will say but yeah I don't know this was okay and you know I got this and I used this first and now I have the monochromatic palettes from Colourpop and I am much more impressed with those than I am with this I think that this is just the novelty of having Usagi on the cover of this and just like this but what is inside as they say what counts the most not impressive not impressive I gotta say so yeah overall I'm not gonna lie I was disappointed uh and I just I think that they could have done so much more better than this and you know the hype was real i bought into the hype people were joking on like do not contact me until there's a Yu-Gi-Oh collection oh my god would you imagine like a digimon does anybody remember digimon uh collection and i think that that's really cool to bring forth shows like these animes like this into the makeup world i think is really cool you know there's like storybook cosmetics that has like their whole vibe of bringing 
stories into eyeshadow palettes there has been Harry Potter makeup there has been all kinds of things in makeup and I think that it really lets fandoms and makeup lovers who do have other interests like Sailor Moon and anime have a really cool moment together but I think when doing that it is smart to be inclusive of everyone and make sure that you understand that you are stepping into a territory that has a large fan base and that they are all different melanin gifted folks and they all don't have Usagi's skin and people who are people of color who do enjoy anime also deserve to have a makeup palette that they can enjoy for themselves and their fandom and I just want Colourpop to do better mostly because I feel like they are a company who continuously always asks for B feedback from their people and I think that they're always so active on Instagram and replying and stuff and I feel like for the most part they've done a really great job of listening to people as to what monochromatic color story they want from the minis and so with all this feedback and everything being said I hope that they take it to heart and do better with their collections especially with such big fandoms like this and I hope that they take the time to develop different formulas for different products like this this was just not a good formula it just wasn't you can't tell me otherwise you can't tell me otherwise this was not a good formula and if you're going to take something like <clears throat> a blot of the lip and hello am i losing my voice is is this the world telling me that i can't talk bad about color pop or i can't give constructive criticism if you're going to take the time to put out a product like the ultra blotted lip take the time to figure out a good formula for something like this to put into market and i just you could i just i see a lot of missed opportunity with this and it's just irritating um and honestly had this not had any sort of sailor moon connection to it I would have never have bought in this color story palette but because it did have Sailor Moon because I am a fan because I was so ready for the Sailor Moon packaging because I was so excited to hold it in my hands and you know here I am with it and I'm just like cute that it's in my collection but I'm just like damn I should have caught in some other monochromatic palettes and saved my money on this but that is just my thoughts my opinions my thoughts and feelings on the whole matter let me know how you feel let me know how you agree disagree with me in the comments below and that is it I'm going to go take off this eye makeup and head to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. I'm gonna go hydrate.